Now to our live health alert, the Zika virus fact versus fiction. We want to help protect you from the virus and take a deeper look into this declared health emergency. It is gripping the globe. 7 Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn joins us live now from our newsroom with the breakdown. Dave. Carol and Glenda, we know much more about the Zika virus today, but research is continuing and more answers are needed. Let's try to answer some of the questions and dispel possible myths about Zika. Dr. Arnold Monto has spent 51 years at the University of Michigan and is internationally recognized as a leader in the public health field. When it comes to the Zika virus, fact or fiction, there's no better authority. First off, is the concern warranted? Nobody was concerned about it until the association with fetal malformations was detected. People are still wondering, what does this mean? I think the link to Zika is pretty clear. Is a pregnant woman guaranteed to deliver a malformed baby if she's infected with Zika? Probably not. We don't know the frequency and we don't know whether uh, the uh, infection is likely to produce a severe malformation. To be prudent, you should not if you have a choice, expose yourself to the possibility that this might happen. Can Zika be transmitted sexually? It looks like it is. However, we don't know how frequent, frequently this occurs. And one of the reasons we don't know this, besides the fact we weren't paying a whole lot of attention to Zika, is that most of the cases, nearly all of the cases, are occurring in places where there can also be mosquito transmission. Finally, could a Zika outbreak occur in the U.S.? We could get transmission of Zika in the southern U.S. The right kind or wrong kind of mosquito, however you want to look at it, is in the southern United States and we have seen uh, occasional transmission of other related viruses. But even the transmission of those viruses has never really taken off. It's nothing like what has been seen in Brazil and now Colombia. The likelihood of major U.S. outbreaks is relatively small, even though in the South we do have that mosquito. Now, there's currently no vaccine for the Zika virus. That could come in time, but it's not in the pipeline right now, according to Dr. Monto. Now, our chief health editor, Dr. Parthanandi, is here with a group of experts to answer your questions on uh, Zika, and I'm sure there are many, Doctor. Yeah, there are tons of questions. You know, the things you talked about, which is sexual transmission, has been one of the most important questions we've asked is, you know, I've had the virus, and after a couple of weeks, am I good? And we talked about how, you know, with the, with the virus, it could actually be spread, spread sexually, and it could be in the semen for a longer period of time. We also, People are wondering who's at risk, and people are wondering, you know, what can I do to protect, uh, you know, myself. So we're answering all those questions. We want people to to, to ask more questions because we're ready to answer them. You know, both Dr. Uh, Mugdal and Dr. Milani are, are both infectious disease doctor, and Dr. Gatz and OBGYN. So we're here to answer your questions. Some of the most important things also is that what are the symptoms that we talked about? The symptoms you can have red, itchy eyes, and you can have uh, muscle pain, joint aches, fatigue, kind of like you have a viral infection. So, but lots of people may not have any any symptoms at all, and we're talking about those folks and that you can come back from an area that has Zika and then infect your partner. So we ask people to use condoms or at least abstain from sex, you know, sometimes up to 28 days for these folks if you're not sure that you've been infected. So uh, important. Uh, have you guys been enjoying yourself so far answering these questions from our viewers? Yeah, yeah there have been, been, been some really great <laughs> questions. Yeah. 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 Exactly. One of the ones we talked about also was breast milk. You know, can, can this be transmitted through breast milk? And Dr. Gatt, what, did, what, did you, what was your opinion? Uh, right now we think it's uh, safe to, to continue nursing and we'd encourage to continue to nurse. And Dr. Milani has been asked a couple of times about immunocompromised patients, so patients whose immune systems are lower. What was your answer to that? Well, I, th I think right now, um, as, as you had mentioned, that most patients that get this actually don't know that they, they have the illness. Um, and the symptoms are usually mild. But right now, the group that we're most concerned about are, are, are pregnant, uh, pregnant women. And exactly. there's a risk of a, a congenital uh, brain malformation. So those that are immunocompromised, 
We just don't know right now. I think we still need to take special precautions. And, you know, I think that it's important to say that, you know, there's a lot of misconceptions. So uh, we want you to come on Facebook Live and ask us uh, the, all the questions. Again, you know, it is, it, is a, it is a health problem, but we don't want people to be panicked. Right. We rather we want people to, to be informed. So go on Facebook Live, ask us all the questions you want to. We appreciate it. Thank you uh, for joining us today, taking time out of, your, out of your busy practice to come to the 7 Action News to talk about, about the Zika virus. All right.